Hi guys and welcome to this new lecture in expression. This is an important lecture. Actually, I'm going to give you the concept of interpolation or the expressions that deal with interpolation. We will look at a few of them and it's up to you later on to develop your skills and to, you know, create more animations. Many times in an animation, what you want to do is to convert a linear movement, a straight movement into a circular movement or vice versa. We also want to take a rotation movement or a circular movement or a linear movement and convert it into a single value and we want to extract all the values in between. Meaning, if this circle goes left and right, for example, on its x-axis, I want this uh, shape to move in a circular movement from the left to the right. So this one will be oscillating left and right and this one will be going on the x-axis. So how do we do that? In fact, there is a simple and easy to understand expression that we are going to use. First of all, let's go for keyframes. I'll keyframe the position here and it is 250. You notice the X is 250. That's very good. Let's remember this figure. We come after one second and we make it 1700. So that's the movement I have is a linear movement that goes from 250 and the next one is 1700. I want this shape to rotate minus 45 degrees when the circle is at the beginning. So it will come on this side, minus 45. And when it comes to the end, it goes 45. Now, I don't want to do keyframing because I might add several of them, make something nice or, you know, just complicate things later on. I want to use the minimum keyframes and I want to have expressions that are very easy to be changed. So how do I do that? That's very easy. Let's go to bar. Let's open rotation because it's going to rotate. Notice I put the anchor point on top. That's okay. Let's adjust it even more. It's okay. It's not bad. It is just over here. Yeah, cool. Now, from rotation, from rotation, I'm going to press alternate and click. I will open the expression. I will click on the small arrow and you can see interpolation. Interpolation has linear and linear that gives you more parameters. So actually you can use it with two parameters or you can use it with four parameters. We are going to use this one. And there is ease, is in and is out. I will do only linear and ease and then actually you can do it by yourself. I will use the linear T. Now look at the values that we have. We have T. This is the value that's going to be interpolated. We have a T minimum. That's the minimum of the T and T maximum. That's the maximum of the T. And then it will return value one and value two. So for this minimum, we will get this value one. For this maximum, we'll get this value two. And in between T minimum and T maximum, After Effects is going to give us the values and interpolate every, all the values for us. So what is T? T is the movement, of course, of the horizontal position of the ball. So all I have to do is to pick whip it and put it on the X, right? Not on both, but on the position itself, on X. Now it's giving you something very big. That's okay, it doesn't matter. All we know, this is position zero from the horizontal layer in this composition. Now what is the maximum? Remember we put 250, or this is the minimum, sorry. And then what is the maximum? Remember we said 1,700. I delete the other characters. Now for here, I'm gonna put minus 45 or yeah, minus 45 for example, and 45 degrees. Of course, we're working on rotation. And here, 45 degrees. Here you are. So what, what are we saying here? We're saying take the value of horizontal 250 here, the X, and when it is 250, make it min minus 45. When it is 1,700, make it 45. As simple as this. When it is between 250 and 1,700, find a value that is between minus 45 and 45 in a linear interpolation and not a logarithmic or, uh, interpolation or uh, any other kind of interpolation. I'll click outside and run our animation. Now notice here, when it is on this side, when it is on this side, it is 250 minus 45. I don't like this. Let's make it 45 here and minus 45 here. Simple. Okay, so now that's better. So here 45 and here minus 45. Now, I don't want this just to go once. I'm going to ping pong it. 
So I alternate and click and say loop out. You notice that loop out ended up to be very useful. Let's say ping pong. Cool. Fine. Now let's play it. And it's going left and right. And this one is going left and right, but in a circular movement. I can change the values here. And let's say I'll make it 90. And here I'll make it minus 90. Just to show you more. And here you are. It is working. Now, what is this linear here? I want you to go to choose the expression, the rotation. Go to the graph. And in here, we want to click on the graph. Now I can see the graph of the expression. Of course, this is a value graph. So this is what's happening. The value of the rotation is going negative, minus 90, then positive 90, and so on. You know, we, we haven't seen the graph here. So that's pretty cool. We have our interpolation, and it's working very fine. Now, if I come to bar 1 and duplicate it as easy as 2, and put it here, take this one, and just move it somewhere over here. Now I have both of them going you know, in this direction. But also I can do more. I can, you know, rotate them from inside and make sure that we have them all connected on this anchor point. I'm not going to do that now, but you can play with it. So this is it. It's pretty nice, pretty easy. Now let's do something else. We have seen that we have another one in interpolation called ease with four values or five parameters. I'm going to come here and change this one to ease, just ease. E S E. And okay, fine. It's done. Now, when it's running, it's going to be a bit smoother. You notice the difference between one and the second one. So this one is smooth. Now, what happened here? Look at the graph. Cool. You know, the graph has become very uh, smooth and it's like a Bezier graph here. But the graph for bar two, if we open rotation, and then it is totally different. Now I'm showing both of them, in fact. You notice the difference. Let's take rotation only. And uh, we need to open the expression for rotation. Here you are. So this one is pretty smooth. Let's remove this one. Let's not show it at all. And put show this one only. So this one is rectangular or angled. And this one is quite smooth. This is a sine wave or a sync movement. So this is how you use linear, and this is how you can use the graph. So notice here when I click, I'll say show post expression graph. So after the expression, I now I removed it, now I put it back. Here the same, if I choose this one, the rotation here, I can see the difference between ease and just linear. So ease is about, so Ease is about making it easy ease if you want. It is the motion. Linear is just a strict motion where the values go up and down. Remember that it's pretty easy when you get used to reading the references and then everything else is just values. So here we have from this comp, this layer, horizontal, use transform position zero and take it from the horizontal layer. Cool. So thanks very much for listening. I hope I was clear. If you have any questions, Come back and ask your questions. I will be very happy to answer them all.